The Skaven, the great verminous horde that hides in the underways, plotting and scheming to one day overrun the world above in a seething tide of ratmen and their abominable creations. No race in the world is as numerous as the Skaven, and when combined with their insane inventions, it's a miracle that the creatures that dwell under the sun have survived at all. This is Isidore. And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the strengths and weaknesses of the Skaven faction. The first, all Skaven infantry units have two special passive abilities. The Strength in Numbers passive and the Scurry Away passive. Strength in Numbers increases a squad of Skaven's leadership and melee defense at the cost of movement speed. However, since Skaven are already so fast, you'll hardly miss the extra movement speed while the extra leadership and melee defense really help Skaven units hold their own in battle. However, they lose this ability when they go below 50% unit health, so most Skaven infantry are not meant for long-winded battles. Scurry Away gives your units a movement buff when their leadership drops low, which is mainly handy when your units route, as enemy infantry simply cannot keep up with Skaven infantry on the run. Of all factions, there is not one that can match the Skaven for sheer number of soldiers on the field. Most of their infantry come in large or really large squad sizes and are quite cheap compared to their equivalents in other factions. If Skaven have one advantage, it's their incredible ability to surround and swarm over enemy forces. Skaven infantry units are also almost universally very fast. Their most heavily armored infantry still moves at 38 units of speed at base, which is more than what most in factions light infantry moves at, and those are the Skaven's slowest units. Some of their infantry move so fast that it's almost like they're a cavalry unit. Because of this, Skaven can easily reposition their infantry to react to incoming attacks, or to flank enemy units, and Sigmar help any enemy infantry that break and rout, for the Skaven will easily run them down. A great deal of Skaven units, namely all variants of Skaven slaves and clan rats, have the meat shield ability, which means that as they die and rout, they do not negatively affect the leadership of nearby friendly units that don't share the meat shield rule. As such, Skaven don't just bring a lot of troops to the field, but they're also masters at using these vast numbers as chaff to wear down the enemy and waste their ammunition, power points and other consumables. The Skaven also have some amazing specialists in their forces, most of which are great damage dealers. Units like Globadiers and Warpfire Throwers can decimate enemy formations from afar while Rat Ogres and Hell Pit Abominations can break apart the enemy front line. While these units do often cost a bigger penny than your core units, they often more than lift their weight in gold, provided that they can hide behind a swarm of disposable Skaven. The Skaven only get two lores of magic, which is less than most other factions, but they're really good lores, and unique to the Skaven. The lore of Ruin is excellent for dealing damage, while the lore of Plagues is great for summoning more units to the field. Both have a few utility spells as well, giving the Skaven plenty of magic to apply to the battlefield. However, the Skaven do have a number of weaknesses that can be exploited to rout the Rat Horde. First of all, most of their infantry units lack quality. While they certainly have an advantage in numbers and speed, they tend to lack in other categories. They aren't very well armored, don't hit particularly hard, and aren't extremely skilled either. So against most enemy forces, they tend to drop rapidly and inflict relatively few casualties. Skaven are highly reliant on their specialists for damage dealing, and those tend to be either fragile or otherwise vulnerable to attack. A cunning commander will decapitate the horde not by chopping through the tide of rats one at a time, but by using tactical strikes to target the Skaven's elite units and expensive specialists, as without these, the horde lacks the hitting power to win most battles. This also extends to their ranged weapons. Slings and throwing knives lack the range and hitting power of the arrows and bullets of other factions. Skaven units do typically come in large numbers and thus fire off bigger volleys and are very cheap, but their projectiles do noticeably less damage than those of other similar units in other factions. 
One of the biggest weaknesses of the Skaven is that they entirely lack two unit types. They have no cavalry and no flying units. As a result, while the Skaven have the fastest infantry in the game, the lack of these two unit types means it's still possible for other armies to outmaneuver the Skaven. Especially against aerial units, the Skaven will struggle, as they have no units that can properly intercept these. If you want to counter a Skaven horde, attacking them from the air is a sure way to exploit one of their greatest weaknesses. So, in Sumeri, Skaven infantry are the fastest infantry in the game. Their units are usually quite cheap and numerous, they have powerful, hard-hitting specialists, and are the best faction in the game at using chaff to wear down enemy forces. However, their infantry units lack the power needed to beat most of their equivalents from other factions in a straight-up fight. Their specialists are usually quite vulnerable to being targeted directly, their overall leadership is quite low, and they completely lack flying units or cavalry. That's it for the Skaven faction Sumeri. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.